Is that my boat tank back? <laughs> okay. Yeah. <laughs> Well, good morning. Another nighttime video. So, it is currently... Gotta love the trains. It is currently about 5.30 in the morning and we are heading to Missouri. We're going to buy a Cutlass from Full Barn Garage. Dalton made a post on YouTube saying that he was getting rid of some stuff and the Cutlass was one of them and I have a great idea for it and we made a deal so me and Guy are on our way right now to go get it. It's about a seven and a half hour drive so we'll keep you updated along the way. So we dug this thing out of the back of the corner, fired right up. We got two flat tires, no big deal. About to try to drive it on the trailer. As you saw, if you watched this video, the frame is not good. It's, uh, it's the exact opposite. But it steers for now. And as we said on the plans of the car, We'll make something happen for as long as we can. Got the bumper. Aside from the back of the car, the rest of the body is not too bad. The quarters are pretty typical. Doors are pretty good. This one's won't open because the car is tweaked right now. The interior is actually pretty nice. Runs good. Got a little spinning. Alright. Oh yeah, perfect. You don't need brakes, he's got flat tires. Boat tank back. <laughs> okay. Hey, you want your screwdriver too? Yeah. Because that looks like a pretty good one. That's a Harbor Freight from there. Set it. Let's get those at 760. Oh my god, I got that at a truck stop. Stole yeah. that. Just give you all the money back. Right? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh wait. You gonna borrow the screwdriver? Oh yeah. You need yeah, that. yeah. I need to uninstall your boat. Tank. It's the key and the boat tank. Yeah. The boat ta boat tank uninstaller. I got this thing all strapped up. About to go grab some lunch here in town. Gonna throw a strap on the hood as Dalton recommended. Hey, does it come with a cat? No. Get off <laughs> Got all the steelies put back on. We're gonna grab the new toy here in a little while. We're gonna put it on the front of the trailer. You can try to guess what that is if you've not seen the other things I've been buying. Can't wait to get back and work on this thing. 
big thanks to Dalton here. If yeah. you don't, if you don't know Dalton, you know, check out his channel, Pole Barn and Garage. Yeah, and uh, yeah, we're gonna have a lot of fun with this thing. I think it uh, it's gonna be interesting. What do you uh, what do you think is the fate for the uh, Le Mans Sport? Because I know people are gonna be asking because of this car, you know, bought them together. Parts. Parts car. That car, is good. If that car has disc brakes and a good motor and trans. So this has a good motor and trans, but. It's a two-speed trans, and this is a four-wheel drum brake car. I could use more parts out of that Le Mans, and that's kind of why this, you know, get the chopping block. Yeah, definitely fair enough. But anyways, Dalton, we're going to get on the road, man. Nice meeting you, JD. Yeah. Nice meeting you, Mo. Thank you. Guy, you ready? Yes, sir. Nice meet you, man. All right, man. We're going to go source us some uh, substance, and, well, not before we throw the strap on the hood. And uh, we will see you when we pick up the next project. All right, the sun's going down. We're in Joplin once again. About to get out of here, just filled up. The car's looking good. Hood's kind of bowing up and out. Boiler's doing good. This is what we picked up. Just about 20 miles from Dalton's house. This thing is pretty minty. Needs a little, you know, a few things here and there, but we'll get into that in the future starting to lose part of the uh, vinyl top but the headliner is fearing well surprisingly back window hasn't blown out yet so we're gonna get on the road if anything interesting pops up we'll uh, keep you updated otherwise we'll see you when we get home We made it back safe and sound last night. Already pulled the four-wheeler off. Like I said, you will see a lot of four-wheeler content coming and uh, that one will be in it, but I'm waiting on something else before the video on that one comes out. So stay tuned for that if you're into four-wheeler content. As far as the car, um, it's probably gonna be a little while. I still gotta finish the frame on the quadrasteer. So as soon as that's done, we'll move this in place, kinda, you know, get working on patching the front of the frame and then we'll go from there up and it's gonna be fun it's gonna be neat i want to say thanks again to dalton and jd for saving this car and getting it driving again you know just yard driving but it's driving and giving me the opportunity to buy this thing because i haven't had one of these cars in years and it's gonna be a really cool project and i also want to say thanks to my buddy guy for driving half of the trip I've been kind of under the weather the past couple days and dealing some, with some different issues. And uh, today I woke up, started losing my voice. So it's been a, been a rough trip, but it was fun. Definitely well worth it.